We have things to do. I mean, we are lucky where we are and what we're doing, all this stuff, but there's people deserve also to play football, to play sport, to have normal life. Today, more than 80 million people are displaced worldwide because of war, because of conflict, because of persecution. They have been forced to flee their homes. Nearly half of them are children. When I heard there's 80 million refugees in the world, I said, oh my God, I feel guilty to be honest. We all want to see children smiling. We all the, want the children to have their childhood. And sports is the best solution. So I said, what we did to them as, as, as you know, a football club. So we looked at it and then, you know, we, uh, we, I said, we have to start. And we started with this project. We want to build the world's biggest club. And it's a club, you know, not for us, but a club that focuses on the overlooked. A club which represents people who perhaps don't have a club. So together with PST, we are going to build new club centers in refugee camps. That means that with PSG, we are going to give access to sports to thousands of new children and young refugees. I think this project that Club Wu and PSG have started is amazing. I think it's, 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 it's such a huge thing. And, I, and when I heard about it, I obviously want to be on board because they're trying to bring hope um, places like Cox's Bazaar. There are two camps in uh, Cox's Bazaar in Bangladesh, which hosts the Rohingyas. It's Kuti Palong and Balukhali. And this is the largest uh, refugee camp in the world, actually. One million refugees. Being in that kind of circumstances where you have no hope and you've just probably lost your family members uh, in, you know, really hostile environment. Klabu, uh, PSG, you know, their partners bring in football and then you're trying to like, you know, let's play these games and let's try to have fun and try to forget what's happening. Uh, and, you know, trying to spark something in these kids, spark hope with the ball, I think is amazing. Because I know that how much it had impact me and obviously I hope that's gonna happen for some other kids as well. I know what, what is so good about this partnership is that everybody in the club is super involved whether it's the president of uh, PSG, who from the very start of the project is so passionate about it. Paris Saint-Germain community, they can also be involved there also, you know, and, and help and support the project of Paris Saint-Germain, which I think all of us responsible is not just the club, it's not just the manager of the club, this is, we, I'm, I'm, myself, it's, as I said, it's really something close to our heart, this project, my heart, and I think, but we need to bring everybody, this is responsibility of, community. Or it's Neymar who comes from very tough conditions. Football for me, when I was a kid, was my dream. It was always the love I had since I was little, for the ball, for the football. And after I started for Santos, I started to dream more and to go after my dreams. The 750 employees of PSG Together with the 10 people at Klaabu, uh, we are working so hard to give that access to sports, and that is fantastic. To have United Nations at the same time with us and this project is something very important. Give really also big credibility to the project and, 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 and you know, to achieve target as much as we can from the refugee. What, what we discovered uh, in refugee camps is that there is a big, big need for equipment and for clothing. And instead of just buying clothes, uh, we saw this big opportunity making them ourselves. And in that same process, representing the communities, making a shirt, a shirt which, and products which represent them. So when you buy a shirt, you are actually contributing to uh, the projects that we are doing, because when you buy something, you give someone else access to sports. Everyone can make a difference. Every action counts. And together, we refugees, 
we can help them to build a better future. All of us needs to ensure that this project is a success because this project is for identity, this project is for dignity, and this project is for bringing hope. You know, I mean, this is first step. You know, this partnership is first step. And I hope we're going to push to have the football community to be behind us and with us together also.